today we are going to work on overlays. I have a downloaded all those overlays for you that you see in my there's a fire uh, fireball there is paint splotches I have this little aniba thing uh, there's this little overlay I have this overlay that I created with butterflies and I have this rolling ball so all of these are available to you down in the link in my Google Drive, so please feel free to go out and get those. All I ask in return is that you subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. So let's start with this first one. So now this is about 819, and that might be a little slow for an intro. You might want to speed it up. My first word of advice is if you are going to speed up this overlay, do it first. So I'm going to come here to edit. I'm going to go to speed and reverse and I'm going to first go to about 150 and see what the time is on that. If you look over in this far right hand corner on the timeline you'll see it's now going to 523 and now I have a five second intro. I'm going to add my overlay title and I'm going to make it the exact same length. Do your text size and information first. I change the size before I get into this. I'm just going to go with the white text to start out with. I'm going to go to frame and fit and I'm going to go to cropping. And it's very simple. I want to get to the point where it's in the white and I add my first crop. I want to get that crop right on the edge of my text. So I don't want a bunch of transition in between this. I'm going to wait till it's about right here and now I'm going to start cropping it while it's in the white. Because it is white, whoops, it won't show the line of the crop. And there you go. Now, of course, plain white text might be a little boring. There's a color. We're going to come back to text. We'll choose uh, one of my presets. So now you'll see the difference. Do you see the line coming? When I get there, it just looks like a little line coming through, that's going through. You just have to decide if that's okay. If it's not, here's the fix. You're going to go back out to your timeline. You're going to take the overlay and you're going to clone it and put it right back on top. You go to edit and we're going to chroma key this. So we're going to hit chroma key and we're going to say dark chroma key and tell it to chroma key black. What this does is now it will have a line. However, there is a side effect. You'll notice that the text got a little dim. We're going to come back to the text line. I'm going to say edit and I'm going to go to color and effects to vibrance and I'm going to turn up the vibrance turn up the shadows I hit the vibrance I go to the end I hit vibrance again and that way it makes sure that vibrance effect works all the way through Notice there's no line. So now I'm going to take the bottom again and I'm going to clone it. I'll take the second line with the text and clone it. So I now have reveal with the overlay. So now I'm going to come to this and edit this text. This one is going to be remove with the overlay. I'm going to go back to my cropping. We're going to get rid of all our crops. We're going to start with the left crop this time as we remove from the overlay. And what I like to do again is remember to get as close as you can and add your first crop. And now let's work on making it appear and reappear. We're just going to clone the bottom for right now and I'm going to clone the text in front of it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to clone that text that you have, pop it up on top, and 
go to edit, change the color of the face. I'll make it orange. All right, and also you should change the wording. We need to go to the bottom text and say place. And I try to make sure that the text is somewhat lined up here in the beginning. I'm going to move that. Just basically the start is probably the most important. Now I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to frame and fit and cropping and I'm going to delete all the cropping that's there and make sure everything is back to zero. Now what I'm going to do is take the right and crop all the way over to the beginning right on top of it as much as I can get close to it and start my first crop. Now I'm just going to move it forward, move my replace not too close to where it's leaving Now the color is awfully similar here, but we can go back and change the color if we want to. And I do notice on the bottom one, we don't have the crop going exactly right. So let's pull that out. And that happens sometimes when you copy. There we go. All right, so now let's roll over the top. Now the orange is very close to the red. So just for the sake of separation here, I'm gonna come back into the top, go back into the title, change the face color to something really different. There we go, like a purple. Now as we do this, it's really gonna show up. There you go. And that's how you do a reveal and replace or replace and reveal, whichever you want to call it. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel. If you want to use these overlays, the link's down below. Please make sure you like and most important, subscribe. I'm going to have another video out really soon on more overlay text effects. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.